I was sitting in a car, and then all of a sudden, a tornado, whirlwind, tsunami happened. And that's where I was the first time I ever ate a crunch wrap supreme. Me, and guess what? LA Rick, that's my guy. LA Rick went inside to get us a couple little, little, he got in the car. Looked like he got thrown off a boat, swam a couple miles through Garbage Island, came out with a couple brown sacks full of crunch wrap supremes. And I was like, what the fuck is that? He's like, you've never had one of these? I just got a couple for the boys. And then all of a sudden I was just like, the fuck is it? Why is it so good? I guess I'm gonna create a nuclear flavor, goddamn open hymie, fucking smoking a couple ciggies, watching the cloud go up. We're gonna end it all here today. This is the first and last episode. This is the beginning and end of time. Earth is flat. Strap in. We're gonna make a crunch wrap supreme. Fill your fucking elephant up with piss. Let's go. I'm just gonna use a little bit of uh, olive oil. Not a lot, okay? Shut up. I'm gonna cut an onion into the pan, medium high heat. So we just wanna cook our onions. So like translucent, little bit of color. That's nice. Now we're gonna take our beef. Easy. Put it in. We're gonna break it up. Brown your beef. Brown your beef. There's gonna be some moisture that comes out of that. And then we're gonna throw in the spices and the chilies. We're gonna cook this down. Yeah! Brown beef cooks relatively fast. But you wanna break it up. You don't want sludgies. You know what we could do to make this real stupid? I could blend the meat. Should I have blended the beef? Are you not entertained? I only reference Russell Crowe movies. Beef is nice and brown. So now is the time. We're gonna put in a big tablespoon of Mexican Boom. chili powder, tablespoon of cumin, Boom. garlic powder, Boom. cayenne, a little heat. Boom. We're gonna throw in like Boom. big tablespoon of uh, green chilies and pickled Boom. jalapenos. Oh. Doesn't that smell like something? I wanna bring all the flavors together a little bit. I'm gonna add like a good mouse worth of water and give everything a little opportunity to get it. That water's gonna kinda of steam out, but it's just gonna help kinda of bring all that flavor together. I'm gonna add any salt. Should we try a little? We need that salt! Is that a good tablespoon of salt? Woo! Yeah! Wow! It's done! Woo! Thanks to Hexclad for sponsoring Cooking Something. Hexclad is a revolutionary cookware company that combines stainless steel, cast iron, and nonstick. Incredible. You could cook anything on Hexclad. Did you know with the technology within these pans that you can use metal utensils within them? What nonstick can you do that? None of them. Dishwasher safety, up to 500 degrees oven safe. Hot. They're non-toxic and induction ready, featuring the coolest handles for sauteing, plus a lifetime warranty. For a limited time now, Hexclad is gonna be having a special offer. You're getting 10% off with Maddie 23, okay? H-E-X-C-L-A-D dot com slash Maddie 23. Cook it up. So now we got our taco beef. I'm just gonna cut these up, okay? We're just gonna cut these up. Uh, we're doing kind of a shit dice on this one. I feel my shit dice is kind of the same as my regular dice. I feel it's the same kind of dice. We need our iceberg lettuce slicer, because this is important, okay? That's nice iceberg. The first thing that I want to do, though, is save my ass and make a couple of these tortillas a little softy. Put them into our microwave. That's nice. Let's do 45 seconds. And this is where my brain will break. This is the tipping point. This is the glass full or the glass half empty. These are the moments in time where we have to adjust, assimilate, or do we get left behind? What is the world saying to us? Where in the world are we? Are you mentally here? Oh, 
God? No. Could be, though. We'll never know. Oh, feel the warmth cometh off of this. Shall we? This is time sensitive. Start your engines. Okay, the first thing that we have to do, though, is you gotta cut a little circle. So I'm just gonna cut in, flip it. Did that work? Not at all. We'll just cut a circle, okay? You know, you could easily just, let's just not really act like we're trying to do something special. Trim it up. Okay, here we go. Beef down. You can't have a monster. You want it to be flat and you want everything to be kind of the same radius. This is a game of radius. We're gonna take our nacho cheese. Oh, that's nice. And just give it a little, hey now. Then tostada, nestle that right in there. <laughs> then I'm gonna put sour cream. Then we're gonna put lettuce, tomatoes, chives to bind it all together. Oh, it's like a nine layer dip. And now it's like making an apple pie. And this is where things get ugly. Huh? How do we... Uh. 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 How many fingers do I have? Oh my god. Ah! Uh. Uh. I'm trying to push and distribute my beefs, kind of now try to make it as flat as possible. Also, if you had a weight, we can have a weight, okay? I love LA Rick so much. This is about friendship. This is about somebody giving and receiving. Friendship, all relationships. Hello, one person, hello, other person. Then you have to put the relationship as the cup. And if you, if you, you put in and you drink, but if one person's just putting in and one person's just drinking, what the, f that's not a relationship. That's toxicity. Me and Rick, we blood, we poureth. We poureth into the cup. The cup is, is like an elephant's worth of piss. What is, how much does an uh, elephant weigh? A couple tons of piss, friendship piss. And that friendship piss, you get that big straw out. Those old school McDonald's straws. You can put a spitball in there, knock out a teacher 15 meters away. Dead shot, kill shot. What do you call it? Anyway, I need a Baja Blast to dip this in. Where's the closest? Can we go get a Baja Blast real quick? The most important day of your life. You're gonna have to go get some Baja Blast. What am I gonna dip this in? <laughs> don't spit on me. <laughs> Please don't spit on me. Rude. It's pretty rude. So if you can just go get some Baja Blast, because I need to dip my crunchy into a Baja Blast to kind of Kind of get that full meal deal. Can you help me? Yeah. Okay. Nice shirt. Okay. That perfect temperature. Look at this. Holy fuck shit. You know how to make like packet salsa is always fucking something. I don't even know what it is. But what I'm thinking is, it's like one part this, and then like we all know what this is, right? Just chunk chunk couple chunk chunks and then take like your favorite little vinegary guy and stir this up I knew it I just made it make that the thumbnail how to make fucking packet hot sauce there you go that looks like literally packet hot sauce doesn't it doesn't it look 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 follow me follow me look at that you kidding me right now? Uh-uh, 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 uh-uh. Well, this has been exciting. I completely forgot that we sent somebody out for Baja Blast, but I don't really give a fuck. Can I cut it in half real quick? Mmm. Oh. My. God. I'm very excited about this. Look at this. I've been eating healthy for three weeks. And I said that I was gonna eat this stuff and then spit it. And I just swallowed it. <laughs> I just relapsed. Holy fuck. This is a 10 out of 10.
We're calling fucking Ellie, Rick. Rick! Hi, Ricky, how are you? I just made a Crunch Wrap Supreme. The best one in the world. Dude, you wanna talk about your LinkedIn on camera or anything? <laughs> He's a great actor. He plays my brother, Theodore, on the TV show, The Bear. I'm Maddie Matheson, thanks to my sponsors. Have a great day. <laughs> Cook it something. My algo right now is just 26 mongoose fighting a cobra. You know when you look at your phone till you're nauseous before you go to bed every single night? Trisha's like, what are you doing over there? I'm like, nothing. It's an alligator getting eaten by an anaconda and a baby zebra is inside the fucking frog that's fucking at the beginning. It's this human centipede animal style. And a couple booties. I'm not, I'm not gonna lie. There's a couple booties out there.